Now, you know, as a Divi user, I've been very vocal about the missing features and how it could be improved. So far, quite a few changes have been added to Divi 5. So in this video, let's take a look and see if Divi 5 is really worthwhile and if it can compete with other page builders out there at the moment. So when you take a look at the UI, first of all, I really like this because we can design our websites much, much easier and faster. And one thing I like about this is, let's say, for example, I add, let's say, a button here. As soon as I click on something, I can go ahead and start editing it over here. Now, I really like that. And when I click here on the button, notice that I can go ahead and quickly start customizing the button. And if I click anywhere in here, I'm now on the section. Now, this is really, really cool. And it makes the designing of websites with Divi super fast. And this is what we find with other page builders as well. So in this regard, Divi has really uh, caught up. Now let's take a look at the UI itself. Now, when you take a look at everything around here, if we click here on this plus button, I like the fact that we can go straight into our pre-made layouts. And do you see how fast that is? This is something else that also improved with Divi. It's super fast and you can sign into Divi Cloud here to access your own designs if you wish. And I really like the fact that, you know, it's very, very snappy. It's very fast as compared to how things were before. Now, when I come over here, you can also access your layers. Again, this is a feature that we find with a lot of page builders and also Gutenberg itself. So you can really pinpoint where things are. You can rename things. And it is very, very easy to navigate, especially when you have elements that are overlapping or elements that you can't see. Now, talking about not seeing where things are, if we come over here, in fact, when we click here, we just disable this and it's very, very easy to do that. But if you can't see things or things are overlapping, we have this feature called the X-ray mode. I really like this because it gives now a boundary of where things are. And this just makes things very, very easy to find and very, very easy to navigate. Now, there's a feature that I hoped that Divi had, and they surprised me a lot because this feature here is the group feature where you can actually group modules together. And I don't think there's other page builders that has this feature. So let me just show you how this works. And this by far is one of my favorite. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna head over and just get rid of everything here. So let's say you want to create a blurb. So you just search for it like that, add your blurb. And then let's say within this blurb, you want to add a button. Now this would need to go in as a separate button itself. And this for me, to be honest, was quite annoying because these two were not actually together. So this new feature now, you click here on this plus button and then you find there's a new feature called group. So when you click on group, now you can start adding all your modules. So for example, I'm going to start here with the blurb. And while I'm in this group feature here, I'm going to click on this plus button. And this time I am going to add a button. So notice how easy, I mean, things are now it's because I'm working now in a group. Now, if you can't really see it closely, if you are, if I hover over here, you can see it says group settings. Now I want to show you something very quick. Let's go to our wire, I mean, to our x-ray. If I click on x-ray, you notice now that things are separate here. Okay, this is the button on its own and this is a module on its own. And there's no way of me actually working with these together. Whereas over here, you can see now I have my group feature. And if I wanted to apply, let's say padding in here, I'll just go into my classes here and just say PAD for padding. And then I'm gonna say large for L. Now you notice that everything in there has now a padding. I can even go as far as even adding a color. So I'm going to say BG dash gray. And I'm going to make it gray 700. So you can actually see that all this now is in one item. You see that? So this is really, really massive because I couldn't do this before, and this is a feature this that uh, Elegant Theme has just added, and I think this is really, really cool. All right, so moving on, there's also the variables here, the variables manager. Now, variables are very important, especially in modern design. So the fact that we can come in here, add our colors as our variables here, and everything just, you know, is coming together to make a cohesive page builder. And I really like this. So not only can you do the colors, you can do links, you can do images, you can do fonts. So you can actually go in and define your fonts here. So for example, for my headings here, I have enter, I could go in here 
and save it as poppins if I wanted to, like that. And now this is going to be applied across the whole website. I mean, how cool is that? So as you're designing as well, let's say I add a paragraph. So I'm going to go in and add some text in here. When I come over here now to my design and go to text, notice that we have a different sizes here. Before, we didn't have a long list of these uh, measurements. So we had pixels, but I mean, uh, EM, REM, but now we have things like clamp, we have max, we have min, we have calc. I mean, this is really amazing. We also have the CSS variables here. So if I was to add my, my variable, I could go in and add my variable here. And also, if I go into this little icon here, I can manage my global numbers and I can just go in here and pretty much manage them. So this in itself is a major improvement when it comes to uh, where Divi is heading. And to be honest, this is amazing. Now, there's another feature that was again recently released, and this is the attributes feature. Now, notice that when I, have, when I hover over here, I can actually right click, copy attributes. Now, when I come over here now, I can go into paste attributes. Now notice that I can go in and paste design style, I mean group style attributes. And just like that, I can add my background color and notice that I have my border as well in here. So you can use this feature to pretty much customize anything on your website. Again, sp uh, increasing your speed of designing websites with Divi. So in my opinion, these type of features here are just making Divi much, much better and much, much more powerful. Now, you know, I'm going to talk about Flexbox. So the good news is Flexbox is on its way. It is definitely coming. Um, Nick himself mentioned that he is uh, working tirelessly behind the scenes to bring Flexbox. Now, a feature that was recently hinted was HSL. So right now, when we take a look at color, so let's just head over here so I can show you. When we take a look at color, it is in hexadecimal mode. And again, this hex mode here is not very modern. I mean, considering that a lot of page builders have pretty much moved on now, we are now going to have HSL, which is much easier to manage. And if you want to have um, a dark mode on your website, it just makes things much, much easier to manage. So HSL is coming very soon. Uh, in fact, maybe in a week's time, we should have that because uh, this was mentioned um, about two weeks ago. So with the speed of development that Elegant Themes is going through, I think this feature is going to be available very, 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 very soon. All right, so moving on, we also have our presets here, which are very easy to manage. But as I've mentioned before, I would, I mean, I, I just wish that there's a way of managing our presets the same way we have our variables manager over here. If we could manage our presets and, I mean, that'll be a game changer because presets just make things easier as well across the whole website as we're designing. All right, so um, the other feature as well is CSS Grid. Again, that's on its way. So that is also good news that we are going to have this. So overall, when we take a look at Divi 5 at the moment, you'll be thinking maybe it is not very close to a working page builder. Now, I want to tell you something very interesting. You can actually design a website. In fact, I had a client that I was working with and uh, I got a job to design this website here for HBBA Group. And this website had a very quick turnaround. I had to do this in less than a few days, about three days. So I was able to use DV5 to create this. So everything that you see here, I mean, it was created using DV5. You can see there. I know it's a basic website, but uh, there's a lot of features that are going to be added into this um, very, very soon. But I was able to do this using the theme builder and also using um, DV5. And the website was very, very fast. I mean, it is super fast. I tested it and it is very easy to, um, to see the speed compared to DV4. Now let's take a look at the features or rather the ecosystem that DV5 has if you are a freelance designer or if you're a design agency. This is definitely ideal for you because you notice here when I hover over here, we have things like the DV Marketplace. This is a place where you can go to 
buy or purchase, you know, DV modules, layouts, themes, and so on. We also have DV Cloud. This is like your Dropbox for the DV Builder, which is again, fantastic. We have DV AI. I mean, AI is everywhere. I've actually used AI on the client website and I was able to just you know, get my copy for my website super fast. And this made the whole process much, much easier. So DV AI is also a fantastic thing. DV Teams. So if you actually work with, uh, I mean, as an agency and you want to collaborate with other users across the world, this is a game changer. DV Teams will allow you to do that. We also have DV Hosting. We also have DV VIP and DV Dash. Now for all these features here, these are features that... I think DV is the only page builder that has this type of ecosystem. Uh, I don't think any other page builder out there has this. So this is why definitely I will recommend going ahead with the DV theme builder because as you can see here, it's targeting you know web design agencies, freelancers, small business owners, online store owners. I mean, this is a huge ecosystem. It's a huge platform. So I definitely highly recommend this. Now, if you go to pricing here, They've made it even much, much easier for you to jump on to uh, DV if you are getting started. So first of all here, we can see we have uh, this pricing here for the DV Pro, which is 23 per month. But to be honest, I would actually go with the lifetime because I've had DV for a very long time and the lifetime will just give you updates pretty much forever. So I would definitely go for this. So here we have the pro services plus DV lifetime and all, or we have the DV lifetime here as well. So there's quite a lot that uh, this comes with. We have the theme builder itself. We, we, it includes all the features, uh, quick sites, 300 plus uh, website packs, which will allow you to design your websites super, super fast. Now there's a feature that I forgot to mention here. And uh, if you wanted to design your websites really, really fast, uh, let's first of all exit out of here so I can show you. Discard and exit. So if you wanted to design your websites really, really fast because you have a quick turnaround, if you come over here, you're going to notice a new feature called DV Quick Sites. Now, Quick Sites is really cool because this will add a complete working website on your site. So I'm going to say select template here so you can see. Now, these are fully featured websites. You can actually uh, preview the restaurant here and here are the pages. So you can actually cycle through these and see how this is designed. And as you can see here, the colors are all in place. The layout is really good. This could be a very quick way of getting up and running super fast. But of course, with me, I prefer using uh, my own designs. But in situations where I have a quick turnaround, definitely I, I would dive into this. But we also have the uh, pre-made layouts. If you want to use those, the beauty of that is you can choose single pages, which means that your design workflow again is going to be super fast. Now, as you import these, they come with your presets. So you can choose not to have the presets um, as well. And then you can just apply your own uh, styling to them. And this will be perfect. So all in all, I would highly recommend you purchase DV5 because a lot of these features that are coming through are definitely going to be a game changer. So DV5 for 2025, this is my quick review. And I'll leave a link to uh, DV5 in the video description below. Go ahead, check it out. And like I said, I highly, highly recommend it. I'm actually using it now pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. Until next time, thank you for watching. I'd like to hear your tips and uh, your assessment of DV5 at the moment in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.